Hi, in this episode, we will see how to run the Flutter application using the iOS simulator. In last episode, we installed Xcode. When we completed the installation of Xcode, by default, the simulator for iOS device is already installed. To open the simulator, at first hold command key and then press space bar to open the spotlight search. And in the spotlight search, just type simulator, S-I-M-U-L-A-T-R. Once you started typing simulator, you will see the simulator is there. That is the iOS simulator. Just double click on top of it to start the simulator. At the beginning, the simulator, uh, it will take some time to start. For the first time, only it takes time. But after that, it is much more faster. Just wait for a few minutes, like two to three minutes at the beginning. And you will see that it is completing the booting of the iOS simulator. Once it's finished the booting, then I'm going to resize the size of this iOS simulator so that I can easily fit this on my skin and the Android Studio altogether. Now, time to open the Android Studio. So I am going to hit command key. I mean, I am holding command key and I hit space bar to open the spotlight search and then I am typing Android Studio and I am going to open Android Studio. Just wait few minutes or few seconds based on the performance of your computer to open the Android Studio. So basically our target is to run the same application uh, which we run on Android emulator before by using Android Studio. So in this case, we will run the same application in our iOS simulator. So let's wait few more seconds to open the Android Studio. Oh, one thing, uh, we'll, we have to open the same project which we created earlier. I mean the earlier Flutter application and we run on iOS, uh, Android simulator. If you close the application, then just open the application again uh, because without opening the application, we cannot run the application on iOS device or iOS simulator. Okay, so we are going to open our application very soon. Uh, just wait till it is opened. Once the project is opened, then we will see uh, all the simulator list and emulator list under the lo loading tab. Right now it's, it's still loading. Once it is loaded successfully, then we will see our simulator. That means the iOS simulator is over there. So just uh, click on the run button to start running the application uh, using the simulator. So in the Android Studio, I just clicked on the play button and it will start uh, building the application. Uh, so we are seeing that in the console window, it is doing something. It is trying to build and it will take time. Again, I'm telling you, it is. it will take time. It will take like two to five minutes based on the performance of your machine and and the simulator and once everything is done then we'll see the application will be running on the ios simulator and we are saying that this is the same application which we previously run using the android emulator so in this way you can easily run the same application using android studio on last thing i want to mention that you can run the same application parallelly uh, both the android emulator and ios simulator uh, at, a, at the same time. For doing this, you just need to open the simulator also and the emulator. If, uh, like for example, if we want to run the same application again parallelly, then we also have to open uh, the Android emulator by pressing tools, then ADV, and from there I choose the device and then we run it. And then again, uh, we have to select the device or simulator and then we have to hit the play button and it will run parallelly. Now we are seeing both the application are running parallelly both the devices. In this way, we can easily run the same Flutter application in two different platforms. So hopefully you are able to run the application uh, both of the devices and if you face any difficulty or issue, uh, just mention in the comment section. <music>